all right so in this particular video i'm going to show you a little tweak to emacs org mode which might come in handy for you if you wanted to okay so let me show you uh to let me go to my max client which i have already opened and uh, uh, these are the few variables in org mode which is which is saved in my case uh, so and probably few are not set also because i don't want that but overall it will it will improve the visibility in org mode so you might try it out the first one is the, you can put this transfer directly in your .emacs file or any .yelt file. If you don't want to do that, you can uh, you can tweak the variable. Now, what these variables mean? Um, first of all, let me copy it and then Control X five two, then Control hv and if I paste this why so you can see if I press enter and it will simply open up um, the first one is called the variable is called org image actual width and uh, the last variable okay so the value is 300 for me it could be different to you okay and uh, then it says when non nil use the actual width of the image when inlining them when you put an image inside a org buffer that image get sized according to the specification this is the variable you need to tweak to get the variable in in shape okay so it also said when set to a number use image magic that's the backend program it is using okay to set the image width to this value okay or you can directly use this particular uh, org specific syntax which is at a underscore html then width then the pixel uh, it could be anything whatever you like to do okay so this is a handy way to 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 uh, get your image size uh, in the org buffer okay so let me close it uh, and let me clear my clipboard content so the first one i i showed you the last variable this one org image actual width because it came from my clipboard uh, which was previously copied there instead of this first one let me try out this one okay so and let me copy this org startup indentation and if i do and if i open this uh, page you can see org startup indented in a variable defined in org el.zz file it value is presently nil because i haven't tweaked it yet okay so the non nil means turn on the org indent mode on startup if you if you start a org buffer it will turn on the indenting mode in the org buffer okay and it could be it could be customized as file par file basis if you don't want all of the org file to have that kind of kind of indentation policy and you want to maintain it in a specific file then you have to follow this particular to uh, particular this way that is org mode related tags called startup then you have to either specify indent or no indent okay so this is how either you take this particular variable which is org startup indented okay and put 
or make it a non-null value or if you didn't do that you can directly put the stuff in the or buffer file like this okay it helps okay the heck is going on okay so the next one is uh, all pretty entities and if I do I am a little clumsy today so pardon me for that and it has got two variables the first one I'm choosing okay all pretty entities if I if I open this documentation uh, it value is t because it's getting it from here the original value is nil so the documentation says non nil means show entities as utf8 character okay so when nil the name form remains in the buffer um this is a kind of stuff uh, it is it is uh, basically it will help you to sh show the utf8 character in the buffer say if you give a emoticon in the org buffer itself and if you save it like the smiley one for instance colon and the first bracket which signifies a smiley right if you save that buffer that smiley turned into a emoticon in the org buffer itself okay this variable will help you to achieve that okay all right now the next one is org hide emphasis marker this is simply hiding the um this is simply hiding the bold italics okay underscore and all this stuff if you if you make this variable org height emphasis marker is true okay then the font log should hide the emphasis marker as it says that means it will turn off the bold italic underscore and all other stuff which is which will emphasize a particular word sentence or something inside the org buffer it will turn it off so so it will it will be hidden okay so this variable if you turned it on it will hide the emphasis marker emphasis markers are bold which is denoted by asterisk okay for slash which is denoted for italics underscore which is denoted for the underscoring okay so these things will get hidden if you turn on this particular I had to turn on one time if I remember correctly because it was interfering with some sort of hyphen kind of stuff I was writing a blog I generally write my blog inside Emacs all of my book latest last two years probably written inside a max and it was interfering so i had to turn off this one and the and the off pretty entities to to get the effect but i turned it on back again because i have fixed it or somebody else has fixed it that stuff so it started to work in normally anyway so the next one is of startup with inline images um, it means you can embed um, you can embed the image in the org buffer itself okay so it says non-nil means 
show the inline images when loading a new org file okay and it could be also like other one of the variable it could be also mention or manipulate on file to file basis if you don't want this behavior to be to be to be applied to the entire org mode you can certainly restrict it to a particular file if you want for that for that you need to specify this particular mockup this particular org file related syntax which is nothing but called startup and then you have to inline write inline image or not inline images okay so this way you can achieve the buffer specific impact if you don't want this variable to impact the overall representation of the org mode okay all right so the last one i have shown you in the very beginning the first one org image actual width this variable will help you to resize the image while showing it on the org buffer <coughs> i'm sorry so this four variable five variable might change the appearance of the org buffer or behavior of the org mode inside emacs if you tweak it okay i've shown you what this variable means and how it could be used if you turned it on and turned it off there's an impact which could be available all throughout org mode or if you as the help section shows you can manipulate it file to file basis in the org mode i hope this will be useful for some people who deal with org file so that's why i'm making this video in a hope that someone will get benefited out of it okay thanks for watching